little Minnesotans live and love hockey. From peewees to prep schools, small kids play small time games to reach one big goal. One big time in their sports career. Big time. I've got to make it show, yeah. big time. The state high school hockey tournament. Big time. Live from the Civic Center in downtown St. Paul, WCCO Television Sports presents Hockey 87 Preview. This year's lineup is a contest of contrast. There's a new team, Roseville. There's Northern Powers, Warroad and Greenway, plus strong Southern teams from Edina, Kennedy, and South St. Paul. And capping the crowd, Burnsville and Hill Murray, who have fought for the title the last two years. Brought to you by TCF, where Minnesota banks. By Northern States Power Company, we put creative energy to work for you. And by the Twin City Chevy Dealers, where full-size pickups come with automatic transmissions at no extra charge. from the St. Paul Civic Center along with Mark Rose and I'm Ralph John Fritz and you know if you like the excitement of young faces and uh, the roar of the crowds this is about as good as it gets right here Mark. That's right Ralph. You know, this is March 11th. Uh, this is the eve of the state high school hockey tournament and this feeling that young people project is something that can only happen this week. Imagine being a high school student 15, 16, 17 years old and checking into a St. Paul downtown hotel for almost a week. No school but lots of attention. And aside from all the fancy distractions, you're really trying to think about winning a championship. Well, there's something else that uh, sets this week aside. It's the chatter about uh, what is making Hockey 87 different from 86 or 85 or even 84 for that matter. And there is plenty to talk about. Since when does a 500 team get into the playoffs? And since when is that team Edina? Historically a favorite, but this time an underdog. Eyes are also on Edina because Coach Willard Eichela gets another chance in the twilight of his career. Yeah, funny, I think you want to go anytime you can grab it because it might be another five years or six years before you can go again. So we're happy to be there. It's certainly freakish to have a big and bold hockey power like Edina just happy to be here. But add one more twist. Unlikely teams that expect to be here and expect to win. Greenway High School from the tiny northern Minnesota town of Coleraine. They last played in the tournament in 1970. They come to Hockey 87 with just one loss and with some folks saying, hey, they might win it. And they have even a smaller counterpart, Warroad. The kids from the cities may hardly know where the town is, but the kids from Warroad know why they've come here. Any difference to you who you play? Oh, we don't care. We're ready for anybody. Oh, and what would a tournament be like without these guys? The Burnsville Braves, the Hill Murray Pioneers, their championship games. 30 seconds left in regulation time. Here's a break over the line. Chuck scores! Oh, my, what a goal! And Burnsville has the lead. Three out of four years, finalists. So what's there to talk about? It's that both can't be finalists this year. Blame it on the brackets. At best, they'd meet in the semifinals. And we hope, of course, we have that uh, our own edition of Hockey 87. We hope he'll also set this year aside from the rest, Ralph. Of course, he's Tom Reed, the uh, former Minnesota North Star with that blazing slap shot. <laughs> and uh, we now look uh, forward to him doing color commentary for us. Tom, what's the difference between uh, the high school ranks and the pros as you see it? Well, I think there's a lot of difference, uh, Ralph. First of all, the enthusiasm, I think, is, is displayed not only by the players, but the people in the seats as well. If you can't get up for high school hockey, you can't get up for anything. And I know that the last few years I've had a chance to go to some of the games over in St. Paul to watch the, them. And the enthusiasm there is just absolutely great. I'm looking it's going to be a fun time. And someday I'd like to be able to take a shot at you, too. 
<laughs> you may get that uh, shot along the way here sometime, Tom. Tom, very quickly, any early impressions about what you've seen the last couple of weeks in the sectionals? Well, I haven't had a chance to look at all the teams, but I did see Edina play here. And you know, when you get down to a one-game series, anything can happen. And watching Edina, watching uh, Kennedy play, and Greenway is supposed to have a great team. Anything can happen in this one-game series. And it's, it's fun to watch it. A lot of scouts out here, a chance for these guys to prove themselves. A lot of these kids want to go on to play college ranks, want to play professional, and this is the time they can show their wares. Okay, very good, Tom. And uh, tonight, bring those North Stars through against Toronto. <laughs> Certainly going to try. <laughs> All right, Tom Reed, he'll be joining us uh, with color commentary, as we said. Next, some high hopes for the small town of Coleraine. Also, North Stars general manager Lou Nanny, and later why this year's teams are worth keeping your television on. Hockey 87 preview will continue live from the Civic Center. The problems on the Iron Range are well known. The depressed economy has taxed the lives of its residents. But through the team from Greenway High, the people of Coleraine have the chance to show their state, their pride runs deep, and their spirit strong. Friday night in downtown Coleraine. Quiet, virtually deserted. A sign of the hard times on the range? Hardly. For when the Greenway High School Raiders lace them up, it's the only show in town. For an hour or two, worries of the world outside are forgotten as the town of Coleraine swells to twice its size inside. It's a tough time up here, but this kind of brings everybody together and forget about the economics a little bit and have some fun. For the past 25 years, this edge of the Masabi Range has been reeling from one mine shutdown after another. The last closed its gates two years ago. And from the deep red gashes where once flowed the lifeblood of a dozen mining towns, now there is only silence. Once thriving towns like Bovee, Calumet, Marble, Taconite, bear the deep scars of failed dreams. But drop by any town ice rink in these parts and listen. These are not the sounds of a depressed people. For on the lips of those who remain, there is renewed hope and pride. Raider pride. Oh, we're so proud you can hardly talk about it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Three times in just the last four years, Tiny Greenway High School has brought home state championship trophies. Now that newfound self-esteem rides with their top-ranked hockey squad. Obviously, there's a tremendous pride that I think permeates the whole community when you have success athletically. You can feel it reverberating throughout the halls of the school. Weary of their everyday problems, many you meet on the streets here are grateful for the diversion. Mark Twain said that uh, it's good for a dog to have fleas because it takes his mind off of being a dog. Young people that go into these games and go into these sports and they succeed 
it shows that this area has got a lot going for it. And it, hey, when you've got that, how can you be depressed, you know? So, at the end of postseason play, the greatest legacy these athletes can leave will not be hoisting state trophies, but lifting civic spirit. With Greenway High School, we know that uh, that's the greatest asset um, that our community has. We know that when they leave here, they're already champions to us, and that they're just going down perhaps and bring back a little bit of hardware. And you can't put a price tag on that kind of um, publicity for your community. Greenway Coleraine, and it will be the Battle of the Green in the first game tomorrow night when Greenway Coleraine takes on Edina at first game, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. A lot of hockey tradition in that area also oh. in Edina. Mark, uh, through the week we'll be uh, bringing the folks uh, a lot of stories about players who made this tournament so great uh, over the past few years, and one of them is uh, Scott Bloom of, e of uh, Burnsville. Back-to-back -back championships, and uh, now he's playing for the University of Minnesota. And uh, now, of course, he's dealing with a new life in college. And what happened to his arch rival, Hill Murray goalie Rick Horvath? Well, he's now away from hockey, working at his father's meat market. He misses the game, especially this time of year, and we're going to be hearing from him a bit later on this week. And there was only one star from last year whose story we can only call tragic. Bemidji's George Palawa won the title, Mr. Hockey, in 1986. At 6'4", 240, he dominated the ice. After his high school career, he planned to play for North Dakota. But before he started school, his life came to an end in a traffic accident. We will miss him, and so will hockey. An NHL team had already drafted him, and George Palawa would have been an NHL star. We'll return in a moment. Tons of it are buried in landfills every day. But at NSP, engineers are looking at trash as a rich source of electricity. Using it will help solve an important community problem. It'll also help us keep your rates among the lowest in the country. And that helps everyone see trash in a whole new light. Creative Energy, NSP. Not sure where to put your money right now? Well, you could gamble on the stock market. Or you could lock it away in a CD. Or you could risk it in a money market. Or you could put it into a TCF Passbook Savings Account that pays a very competitive rate. It's flexible and it's insured. TCF, where Minnesota banks. When it comes to your money, it's nice to have a safety net. Presenting one of the most important developments in broadleaf weed control since the hand hoe. Now at a new low price. With this marvelous product, you can control most broadleaf weeds for less money than ever before. It's gentle on your soybeans, and it'll work in any tillage system. Presenting Vasogran. So roll on down to your dealer and take advantage of the new low price of broadleaf weed control. Welcome back to the St. Paul Civic Center for uh, Hockey Preview 87. Mark, let's go out to the uh, Met Sports Center now. Bring in uh, General Manager of the North Stars, Lou Nanny, who will again be doing color commentary for us or, uh, uh, on our games. Louie, we talk about the hype for this tournament. It really doesn't need it year after year, and this is no exception. Well, it's been this way for so many years, uh, Ralph, that you know that anytime tournament time comes around, everybody's excited about it. Every year we got different favorites and we always have some dark horses that really stir the people's interest. And because of all the different uh, teams coming from all over the state, people really don't know who the best is and it's always such an exciting event. And the way the kids play, the enthusiasm, the intensity of the event just make for a fun time. And realistically speaking, no hype ever was needed for this tournament for as long as I've been here. That's 27 years and it just seems to get better every year. Louis, what about the intangibles? You have teams like Burnsville and Hill Murray making uh, their fifth straight appearance each. You got teams like World and Greenway who haven't been here since 1970. They come into this big building. Do you think that's an advantage to the, the Burnsvilles and Hill Murrays? Well, really, uh, when you look at it, Hill Murray and Burnsville do have a few players that have been in the tournament before. But uh, for the most part, a lot of these kids haven't been. They all see it all over the state because of television. They're all familiar with the tournament, and that really can't alleviate any fears that some of these newcomers uh, 
have just because they've been in it before. So uh, there might be an advantage for two or three players on a Burnsville team or Hill Murray that's been here. But overall, mm -hmm. when you get out in front of 18,000 people and the big TV audience, it's uh, it's really tough on all the kids, and they just have to put that out of their mind and play the best they can. It's amazing they do play as well as they do in front of that big crowd. Lou, thanks a lot. Don't get any more gray hairs with that hockey team of yours tonight. I hope not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we've seen and heard how much emotion is spent by the players and fans. Now let's see how the teams got here. And did you know that six of the top eight seeds advanced to the state tournament? That's right, Mark. Only uh, Edina and Roseville were not the uh, top seeds in their section. Just in case uh, this is a new experience for you, uh, don't bother with the TV guide. We'll be your guide uh, when you turn on your tube tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what's going to be on the tube tonight. That looks well, let's delicious. see. Only the oh boy, food food another commercial. Say, I'm hungry. Nowhere, even in the Do not attempt to adjust your set. We are preempting our regular programming to bring you the Burnsville Network. It may just be a network. The black and gold has been at the top of the charts two years running and renewed for another season after shutting out Apple Valley three to nothing. It's never a tired script for the back again Braves. No, you bet you don't get tired, and it doesn't get any less sweet either, I'll tell you. It's just, it's every bit as exciting as the previous four. We're just, uh, we're thrilled. Not all mergers are happy ones. Take Liz and Eddie, or Liz and Dick, or Liz and, well, you get the picture. But Ramsey and Kellogg's honeymoon isn't over. Reborn this year as Roseville, the Raiders blasted Duluth East 9-1 in the section final. The squad is split down the middle from the two defunct teams and includes a recent Roseville resident by way of a Colorado transfer. I know in Colorado we were in the state tournament and we had 500 people for the championship and this is, a, this is a quite a big deal. It's really exciting. Out shooting its opponent in every game can excite even an old timer. 16 years, I'll tell you, this is the best year I'll ever have in my life. This is the best. This is my lifetime dream, and we did it. Don't flip that dial, because the next matchup is heating up. Bring on Hill Murray. We don't care. We got to prove to some people that we can play with the Northern teams. Ah, that's the spirit. World feels they need to prove something, too, as they did to Crookston in the section final. The tourney's smallest school carries the town's hopes, a town in economic hard times. Oh, it's it's some it's unreal. Our town is just going nuts. You know, there's there's people like Dick Myers, other guys haven't slept for a week. You know, it's just unreal. His insomniac friend may lose more sleep if the Hill can help it. Back for the fifth straight time, Hill Murray dominated Stillwater in the final six to one. It's a close knit group fueled by a junior varsity on a 49 game win streak. One two games in overtime coming in here. And we knew we just had to go out and play our best, and we did. That's probably the best we played in a long time. Forget Cosby, because Primetime Thursday features a long-running series, The Willard Eichola Show. If you liked Ike on Eveleth's title teams of the 40s, you'll love him even more, appearing for the 15th time, courtesy of a 2-1 to thriller over Minnetonka. thought you had the best team in the state, did not make it to the state tournament. You got a club like this, and here you are going. Isn't that funny? I think you want to go anytime you can grab it, because it might be another five years or six years before you can go again. Well, not everyone likes Ike. <laughs> Greenway's 17-year tourney drought ended with its 7-3 victory over Grand Rapids. Like the residents of Warroad, the Iron Rangers of Coleraine and its nearby communities live vicariously through its hockey team. The place was just nuts, you know, yesterday trying to get tickets and on the way over you can see all the mailboxes and stuff were decorated and a lot of fan support. It was really great. The night's double feature is a classic, a sequel to David and Goliath. Meet David, a.k.a. Jim Lissick, 15 years old and carrying the dreams of South St. Paul on his 5'5 five five frame. Everybody's saying they're going to... I was going to take them to state, but I, I didn't. I was going to take one game at a time, and it turned out good. Their three-to-one victory over Sibley propelled the Packers into its 23rd tourney appearance. But alas, they've never won a title, and will face a formidable foe in Kennedy. The Eagles' awesome offense, eight nothing over Jefferson, 
matched its smothering defense, allowing an average of only four shots a period through all of its section games. How do they do it? I mean, you'd have to ask the defense, I think. We can't beat them. You know, we practice with them every day, and we haven't figured them out yet. They're tough. Talk is cheap, so let the games begin. The suspense is building. The pressure is mounting. So tomorrow afternoon, pull up a chair and remember... No, 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 don't touch that dial. Congratulations. And what is this? The Burnsville Hockey Network. And when we return, we will continue and we'll uh, speak with Gopher Hockey Coach Doug Wu. When you open an IRA at most banks, your money just seems to sit there. But at TCF, your IRA will be a little more active. Because TCF's paying interest at a bonus rate of 20% for 30 days on two-year IRAs. And that 20% rate can make a big difference. So why settle for less? Open a 20% bonus rate IRA at TCF. It's one IRA that'll really bring home the bacon. TCF, where Minnesota banks. If you got a problem, don't care what it is. A homeowner wanted to cut his energy costs, so he had NSP make a house call. NSP's consultant was glad to help with ideas that trimmed energy costs more than 20%. It would sure do me good to do you good. I can help. To use energy smarter in your home, in your business, call your NSP energy consultant. We can help. Now at all Target stores. Until this time, until this tape, you've never seen color this bold. A breakthrough in videotape technology. Color, as if you were seeing it for the first time. The Scotch EXG video cassette from 3M, worldwide sponsor of the 1988 Olympic Games. Available now at all Target stores. Well, Gopher Hockey Coach Doug Wu joins us now for a discussion. I know, Doug, you hate to be away from this tournament too long. you got a pretty big series of your own. Of course, the Gophers are, being, are going to be playing North Dakota in the finals of the WCHA uh, playoffs this weekend, so at least you'll be able to take in the first round of the state tournament. Talk about the northern teams and the style of play. Warroad and Greenway, they used to dominate this tournament years ago. Now, apparently, they're going to have a resurgence this year. I think definitely the people who are going to watch these games are going to find that uh, Warroad and Coleraine can really play. Uh, they play a little different style than some of the teams we see uh, day in and day out in the metro area. Uh, they have some extremely talented people uh, who skate well and, and handle the puck and, and have a little of that rink savvy, uh, as you'd say, uh, rink rat type players. And, uh, they'll move and, and interchange and, and find fancy plays, and I think you'll find that they'll try to beat some people one-on-one. -on -one. Do these things go in cycles, Doug? Uh, we talked about the resurgence of the North. Apparently the people up there feel these are the, two of the best teams they've had come down here in 10 years. Is this the start of something big, or are they exceptions right now? I think you're going to see the Northern teams uh, revive themselves. So one thing happens, there's a number of good teams, especially in the Iron Range uh, region, so there was, they're playing against four or five good teams all season, and they've played on, as youth, Mm -hmm. So they've had a chance to have good competition, and, and it's starting to show. There'll be some teams like the Falls and, and Greenway, uh, uh, Grand Rapids, and, sure. and Hibbing are, are going to be real strong teams in the near future. Well, Doug, thanks so much for spending some time with us. And, of course, best of luck to you and your Gopher hockey team up in North Dakota. Oh, this thank weekend. you very much. Well, now we're going to go over to uh, Paul and Chris up in the booth. And first of all, we're going to take it to a commercial. We'll be right back with more of the Hockey 87 preview. When you've applied for a loan, the first thing you want is a fast answer. The last thing you want is to wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. Escape to TCF. We'll give you an answer in eight hours on all kinds of loans. <gasps> efficient vehicle in America. Its fuel supply is inexpensive and inexhaustible. You see, this vehicle doesn't use this fuel. It hauls it away. The fuel is trash. And it's a new source of electricity NSP has developed to help keep your electric rates low. Creative energy. NSP. 
Lorsban 15G is the only rootworm insecticide that gives you corn security. When you T-band apply SeedSafe Lorsban 15G, you control rootworms and many other insects. From the surface to the root zone, you stop the yield damage they can cause. For excellent rootworm control and superior yield protection, try Lorsban 15G. That's corn security. At this time, I'd like to toss it upstairs to the two gentlemen who will be calling the play-by-play -play over the course of the next three days. And welcome back, Chris Cuthbert and Paul Braun. And guys, take us through the first round of the State High School Hockey Tournament. Thanks very much, Mark. You know, it's Paul's fifth appearance, my fourth tournament, and I don't think it's ever been as wide open as this year. Talking about the possibility of six teams being able to potentially win this tournament. I'll call the play-by-play -play in the first game of the tournament tomorrow, and that will have Burnsville taking on Roseville in Game 1, Section 1 versus Section 2. And the next game in the afternoon at 245, Hill Murray against War Road. What a game that should be. Three losses combined between those two teams so far this season. Then we get into the evening action. Believe it or not, Cinderella Edina against Greenway. That should be a good one. And a lot of people feel that the winner of that is going to have its hands full with the winner of the last game of the day. And that features Bloomington Kennedy ranked number one uh, in the state, taking on South St. Paul in their 23rd uh, appearance in the tournament. Uh, Chris, over 1,500 regular season games have been played, and now it's down to the final eight. Should be exciting. It sure should. Now let's go back to hockey control. All right, thank you, Paul and Chris. And uh, speaking of those games coming up, Mark, uh, the games for the tournament are sold out, we should point out. And if you have, uh, uh, you're looking to get in here, you should get here a little bit early. They're saying it, it should take something like 45 minutes just to get from your car to, uh, to your seat in the arena. All right. Well, that bit of business taken care of, we can tell you that sir, we're certainly set for the start of the state high school hockey tournament, a time when some young folks make it to the big time. See you tomorrow. Hockey 87 Preview has been brought to you by